Brooks both in today. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's going to be awkward. I can't change the rotor. We're already up against it without Zidane and Stu. Yeah, of course, it's the hearing today. Is Stu nervous? Less nervous. More sad they're exonerating him by highlighting what Bridget did. So, do forgive me if I'm not overly concerned with teenage romantic squabbles. It's just weird, though. Darian barely talked to her. Well, some people get jealous very easily. Yeah, and I think this is Max's first girlfriend. Hmm. I remember what it was like at that age. You're constantly paranoid about what other people think of you. I don't know, though. It felt weird. It was like she was scared of him. Because he's an asylum seeker? Well, she wouldn't be the first. Surely not. Not at that age. That would be hugely depressing. Max, you idiot. We are just talking about that. Mm -hmm. Everything OK with you? It'd be better if he left his racist girlfriend. What? Yesterday, after I left, she saw me and she says, you stick up for me because your lot always stick together like that. You know, your lot. Oh, no. Max didn't correct her either. My brother says sometimes, you show how you feel when you don't speak. I'll talk to him. No, please don't. I don't want an argument. I'll just stay away from her. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I need to go. Yeah, go, go, go. Um, give Stu my love. Thank you. You mentioned your brother. Maria said that you both got separated. No surprise. Hader was always terrible with directions. Sometimes I say he would get lost getting out of bed. Um, I'll, I'll get the other delivery, yeah. So how's Sam doing? Because Audrey was telling me that he's been writing to Harvey in prison. Yeah, he's not great. Well, I mean, what are the chances of Harvey actually agreeing to a visit anyway? I mean, what's in it for him? Oh, that's what I was hoping for. They might ignore the request. It's a bit messed up when relying on him, isn't it? Was that the door? Max? Max? Well, can you not just tell Sam no? Max, door! Well, because kids never do what you ask them to, do they? Well, Max! Max! What? Door. Well, why don't you get it? You're right next to it. See? I rest my case. <sighs> oh. Hi. Just message you. Uh, yeah, I, I saw, but I was just outside, so... Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. So, here last night, here the night before, here first thing in the morning. What exactly are your intentions towards young Maxwell? Mm. <laughs> OK, don't answer that. Just turn around and walk right back out of the door. Bye, Bye Lauren. <laughs> Girls, come on. And we've got to remember this project this morning, Ruby. It'd be such a shame to leave it home, wouldn't it, after all the work I've put into it? Oh, you've got to be. What? You've got a face on you. Why have you got a face on you? Because I've just got a notification. Out today, John Stape, a legacy of evil in all major retailers. Yeah, well, it's hardly going to be in fresh goes, is it? Who says major retailers? Yeah, but it means bookshops, Ty. So it's not going to be in fresh goes. And it, it's not going to be in Holland and Barrett's either. Well, fresh goes sell books. It's a local true crime book. It's not Dan Brown. Dan Brown? Wow. Sure was the last time you read a book. All right, you know what I mean? All right, I appreciate it. It's probably not going to be on the bestsellers list. Exactly. What if one of her classmates on the way to school goes past the bookshop and pops in for a read, eh? Have you met any of them new classmates? Exactly which one of them do you think could pop into a bookshop on the way to school, eh? Well, I bet Sam would. Maybe Sam would, yeah. What exactly. are they well, talking about? Me, of course. They're whispering, they're talking about me. Uh, little Miss Big Boos. We wasn't, actually. I'm not talking to you. Oi! You said you'd stop it getting out. Oh, you know that I tried. Can you take me in school today? No, I can't. And you talk to your dad like that one more time, you'll be walking to school for the rest of term. Come on, say sorry. Hope! It's OK, I'll have a word. Hey. Have you brushed your teeth? Come on. <sighs> Stop.
stop grinning at me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I can't stop. <laughs> Are you all right, Summer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just stood up too quickly. You've been standing since you arrived. Yeah, I know, but before that, just stood up way too fast. <laughs> I'm fine, honestly. Oh. Oh, Esther and Mike have asked if they can meet at our flat. Save a trip? No, what if they bump into Billy? Yeah, all right, maybe not then. No, I'll just ask them to meet us at that bubble tea place in town. But cheers, Roy. Cheers. Good Hi. 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 Come on, we'll get going. Hi, guys. Can I have a quick word? Well, he's, he's on the phone to Bridget right now. All oh, right. No, but look, 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 look. Don't, don't worry about that. Eliza's fine. We'll, we'll sort it out, OK? He was expecting you at half past. If you have got to get the train all the way to London. Yeah, sorry, there was a bit of a hold-up, but we'll be fine. Mm. You know, it's not like trains are ever late, are they? <laughs> hey, next you'll be telling me they're not massively overpriced or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, we should get going. Stu, I'll be up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've, I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, I love you, bye. Taxi's outside. <sighs> Do you know, she's struggling. I saw it when I visited her. Let's just concentrate on today, OK? Best of luck, OK? You'll be fine. I never said that. I never... Why would Darian lie? I, I never... Right, well, it doesn't matter, does it? OK, because Darian's apologised. And, and so now we can all move on. Well, I just want to make sure there isn't a problem. He's been through a lot. There is no problem. You're the one making it a problem. Wait, Lauren. Lauren. Max, just tell the truth. Did she say it? Is everything OK? No. Look, I remember what it was like with my first boyfriend. Right, just get out of my way. And I okay. get why she's upset. No one likes to be called out for being racist. So do you want to go straight to the cop shop, or do you want a brew? Because there's one in the park. Oh, a couple of those grand, thanks. Yeah, uh, builders, no sugar. OK, right, take a pew. Okay. You all alone? Yeah. Dev's at work. The uh, Elvis impersonator. Oh, please don't tell him that I said that. My lips are sealed. <laughs> hey, a little less conversation. <laughs> right, that's, uh, that's very good. So. Have you got a photo of Fern? Yeah, um, I couldn't find one. You know, I'm sure I have one somewhere, but, well, I, I got rid of most of them after we broke up. Yeah. I wouldn't want to keep any photographic evidence of being married to that cow, neither. <laughs> so, did, did you say that you and Dev, was it, or were married? No. He's my boyfriend, but I think that makes us sound like teenagers, so mm. I prefer to say that we're, um, we're lovers. Ah, yeah. Definitely sounds a bit more adult. Mm. Yeah, sorry to be cheeky, but hey, you don't have a, a bicky or something, do you? I haven't had any bricky. Yeah? I think I can rustle up a hobnob. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Hi, uh, sorry, I'm looking for Lauren. Yeah, join the club, mate. Just had a call from the college. Well, she was there this morning when I was with her. You say something to her? No. No, she just had a bit of a disagreement with someone I work with. Not the curry house. Well, he... that they fell out. That's her now. Lauren, why the hell aren't you at college? That snooty receptionist bird's just had a right go at me. Yeah? Well, just wait there. Just wait there. Oh, flipping heck, she's at her mates. You just stay away from her, yeah? She's had enough trouble with lads like you. Hey, all right, mate. All right, he's not the one skiving off with her, is he? Oh, sorry, I, I'll, I'll no, go. No, no, no. So this bloke's been giving you guys grief, yeah? Uh, no, not not really. She's said he made it feel uncomfortable, but he said it's just a misunderstanding. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's nothing, it's just... Well, that's what Lauren says. They say. 
that lot. You mean? What do you think I mean, Max? You can't say it, can you? Because you're a white working class bloke. You can't speak the truth. No, no, it's, it's not that. I just... no, 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 no. Go on, say what you want. We still just about have free speech in this country. Well, we do here anyway. Muslims. That's what you were going to say, yeah? Go on, spit it out. Believe me, whatever you want to say, you can't offend me. It's about not being racist. <laughs> but uh, no, no, you see, that's the tragedy. Right there. That's the tragedy of all this woke crap the mainstream media feeds you kids nowadays. Well, no, but you, you can't just say that... Go on. Well, you can't just say because someone follows a, a particular religion. Oh, but... here we go. Well, that, that makes them all the same. Right. You're not in a hurry to get back to work, are you? Oh, no, not really. Good. Because what I'm going to show you is going to educate you way more than anything you'll hear in school or anywhere. Oh, take a seat. Right, hang on. You're a bit of a film buff, aren't you? Like Lauren. I, I like films. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, have you seen The Matrix? Red Pill. <laughs> You're a sharp lad, Max. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Eh? Lauren's got her head screwed on too. That's why I knew I could talk to her about all this stuff. <laughs> Come on, take a seat. Come on. <laughs> now, I'll warn you, this is pretty gnarly stuff, but I reckon you can handle it. But it's something you need to know. To have I mean, I lived half of it. Hey, today's headline, tomorrow's chip paper. That's what the old people say, isn't it? Well, yeah, but they don't wrap chips in books, do they? People keep books, put them on shelves. Mm. They never actually wrapped chips in newspaper, did they? Didn't it make it all inky? Yeah, chippy around here used to use the Gazette. Oh, gross. Well, I won't read it, mate, and I'll ask Summer not to either, and she reads loads. Great. Now I just need to find a way to stop the rest of Weatherfield. What? Well, of course, there is one way to do that. I'm not going to apologise, mate. Because you needed to know. And it's hard. But now you get why I just can't sit back and not say anything. That's all real. As real as it gets. But anyone can put things on the internet. I... No, I'm telling you. The papers, the so-called news sites, they're the lies, they're all in it together. Don't just take my word for it, OK? I'll send you some links to some other stuff, you know, worth reading. I've got to get back to work. Well, um, just watch yourself, yeah? Keep your eyes open. Twelve ninety nine for a book? You're not seriously going to buy it, are you? Well, I might need to take out a second mortgage first, but yeah, aren't you? My fizz bomb won't like me reading that. But you want to? You're joking. Of course I want to. Well, read it then. She's not going to know, is she? Can I have it after you're finished? When Kirk is finished, you can. But I'm warning you now, it's not the fastest reader. It took him nearly a year to get through Fifty Shades. <clears throat> You're talking about the book, aren't you? No. Um, do you reckon maybe I could get mates' rates? I mean, I'm not being funny, right? But 13 quid? Beth! What? He's gonna read it too, behind your back. Beth! And him. And he won't even hear. Neither were you. Well, thank you all for your support. I mean, yeah, this might ruin Hope's life, but at least you get some good gossip, eh? Uh, nobody is buying the book. 
I see one copy on the premises, so anybody talking about it, it's automatic dismissal with no pay. Can't do that. Uh, Beth, try me. I'm warning you. I won't be reading it, Fizzbomb. Me neither. Mm. Look at the state she's left it in. I guess this is what happens in study groups. <sighs> Did you close the door behind you? <sighs> I'm always forgetting. I thought you told them to meet in town. I did. I did. Oh, it didn't send. We were open, so we just thought we'd... Oh. <sighs> Put in a pair of flip-flops. Hmm? Left foot, right foot. Oh, sorry, Shona, love. Just been doing my Miss Rabbit thing. Miss Rabbit? Yeah, you know, two-job Shona. <laughs> it's a Peppa Pig reference. I thought you'd have been all over that, what we're living with Lily. Oh, no, no. Lily watching Peppa Pig was pre-brain injury show. <gasps> oh, soft. You say Miss Rabbit to me now, and I think of something very different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's funny. <laughs> oh, what did she say? Who's that with Bernie? I've no idea, but they seem to be getting on like a house on fire. Anyway, hot pot, was it? Ta. Coming up. Right. <laughs> We should get to the cop shop. Yeah, Dutch cars was a good idea. Uh, just need a quick Jeffrey. I'm back in a sec. Okay. How do? Hi. Who's that? It's Howard. <laughs> Howard? <laughs> no one's called Howard. <laughs> he is. All right. Well, uh, what are you and Howie up to then? Wait, well, he's helping me with summer. Hmm. Does Dev know? What? Does Dev know that he's helping you with something? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, do you want to get into Howard's pants or what? You are? No. Well, he clearly wants to get into yours. So, we'll have one more here first. I mean, we're not in a hurry, are we? Or we could even grab a bottle of some of yours. Honestly, you really don't have to do this. I promise you, it's no bother. Me and Mike were big batch cookers. Yeah, I'm grabbing something from the freezer. Always quicker than waiting for a takeaway. Oh, honestly, these are mostly our flatmates. Yeah, they actually tease us for being healthy eaters. <laughs> and I've got my insulin pump now, so... So you didn't need me to say that again. <laughs> no, I promise you, we're not judging you. No, of course not. The flat was just such a state. Look, we, we know what it's like to live with other people. You should have seen the state of my old student digs. <laughs> we just want to help, if we can. Mm, well, thank you. And I promise it's really not usually as bad as... <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Billy. <clears throat> uh, look, can I offer either of you a top-up of tea? Or we could open those diabetic biscuits that you brought. They look really nice. Uh, yeah, uh, no, well, we, we've, we've actually got some friends over at the moment. It's OK, she pops by later. Yeah, OK, cheers. Right, bye. <clears throat> yeah, I'd love another cup, Tar. Have you not told Billy about our arrangement? Oh, hello, Roy. Can I get you a table? Mm, no, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to know if you'd heard anything from court. Well, the last I heard, they were, were about to go in, so they must be in there by now. I understand it's merely a formality, the exoneration. Yes, but... Oh, oh, thank you for coming. I'll see you again soon. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in your way. No, not at all. You I... still haven't had your lunch, Gran. Why don't you take a break? Uh, we still have some of that vegetable soup you profess to like. Oh, that sounds just right. Thank you. If um, that's OK with you. OK, I'm fine. It's all right, it's just a cardboard cutout. I can see it's a cardboard cutout. What is a cardboard cutout of John doing in that flipping living room? Well, it's a promotional thing, in it, from the bookshop. You bought it? Well, no. Uh, yeah, uh, sit down. I can't sit down, not with that looking at me, Ty. Right, well, I'll put it in the outhouse then with the rest of the books. The rest of the books? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain. Right, I went to the bookshop, you know, the one on the way to Freshco's, right? Just went in there, bought all the stock, every single copy of the book. Well, it's the only bookshop round here that's selling them, so now 
No more books left in Weatherfield. You get it? Then, slipped him a few quid, got this, got all the posters. There's posters? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd be pleased. Please. Ty, you nearly give me a coronary. Sorry. Just get rid of it, please, please, please. Right, I will do. Flipping heck. Do you think it'll fit in the recycling? I'll... I'll burn it. Yeah. You do realise spending a small fortune on books and taking down that is not going to stop people buying it online. Yeah, well, I know that. I'm home. <gasps> we should talk about earlier. No, we should. I know it's hard. I know, no, it's but... nothing, OK? It's nothing to do with you. In fact, because of you, she's not speaking to me now. Max, I'm telling you, if she's saying things like that... Don't I'm, patronise me. I'm not. But you must hear how it sounds. Well... Go on. Forget it. No, go on. New back to not. Just like she said. Yeah, but... Not because we're both Muslim. Because it's the truth. No. Nobody's allowed to tell the truth, not nowadays. What? What's going on? Max, what she said was racist. Alia, I said that didn't Was it, to... though? Because I don't know. Maybe what she said was the truth. You are. I've got nothing more to say to you. Look, I just need to know where all this is coming from and why you would accuse Darian of something like that. Of what? Of creeping out my girlfriend? Because he did. She told me. It's not true, I swear. I wouldn't do that to her, not to any woman. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Look, I know she's your girlfriend and you're trying to protect her, but she's got this all wrong. And so have you. Difference is, she knows it. OK. Yeah, so she's lying, is she? Yeah, I think she is. Oh, go on. Why would she do that? Why do you think? Ali is right. She knows you are upset because you think I took your place at school. And now she's trying to use this to turn you against me, against us. Look, why don't we all just go back inside? We can, we can talk about it, try and figure it all out. No. No, I told you, OK? I've got nothing more to say to you, either of you. So just leave me and Lauren alone, OK? You know what? We're wasting our time. Go on, then. You want to be left alone, go. Actually, I'll make it easy for you. Ma hey, love. Have a good day at school. No, it's up big time, thanks to you. Oh, I'm guessing Sam's still not speaking to you, then. Of course he's not. Not after you punched your dad in the face like a nutter. Now everyone's going on about that book about my real dad and all. Oh, I I'm sorry, right? I, I really am. I shouldn't have lost my temper and hit Nick. I want to make things better, so you tell me what I can do and I'll do it. Fix it. Like you fix those stupid cars. Hiya, oh, yeah, sweetheart. How was your day? Ask him. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I've really messed up, haven't I? Oh. I have to admit, I'm not comfortable with Billy thinking you went through with the abortion. I felt awful lying to him, but I didn't know what else to tell him. You need to tell him the truth. It's not right. She can't do that. Well, she has to. I know he might be upset. No, he wanted to report you to the police for offering us money for our baby. So I only just managed to talk him out of it. But he wouldn't really have gone through with that, would he? I don't know. He seemed pretty serious. And he was really angry at you and Mike. Well, if he was willing to go that far, I can't see him changing his mind now. Oh, but he's going to find out sooner or later. But what happens when you start to show? I don't know. What are we going to do? Me and Mike have been talking about a few things and, well, we might have an idea. Oh, the infamous cake run. 
only in one. I guess you drew the short straw, having to be the gopher for the rest of them. Yeah, well, I kind of enjoy leaving that place for a bit. And besides, Beth is only ever happy when she's got someone shoved in a gob. <laughs> OK, I'll see you later, see love. Oi, waitress. Any chance of a top-up before I die of thirst? Uh, less of the are you. And don't push your luck. What is this service with a threat? Always. <laughs> hey, uh, you're both here. I have to talk to you about something. Go on. You have to talk to Max. What about? Well, he's said something racist. You joking? No, shut up, David. What do you mean, racist? His girlfriend came to see him at the restaurant and, look, all Darian did was say hello and try and make her feel welcome. Next thing I know, she's telling Max that Darian made her feel uncomfortable and Max starts having a go at him. When I spoke to Max about it, I told him that, you know, she must have made a mistake. But then he started saying how she was right about how our lot all stick together. Well, I hope they didn't mean it like that, but uh, I'll, I'll speak to Max when I see him next. Yeah, I think you need to. Like I said, we've been looking into similar cases, other couples that are going through what we're going through. So we spoke to a friend of ours who's a lawyer to see if he could draw up some sort of, I don't know, legal contract. But that won't work. However, there is another option. What's that, then? The only way we could have legal rights is to put Mike's name on the birth certificate. What do you mean, say he's a father and not me? Yeah. But that's not true. Well, we, we, we know it's not ideal, but it's the only thing we can think of that stops social services getting involved. What do you reckon? I don't know. Just, all well, this just seems a bit weird. I know all of it is, but I'm like, if it's, if it's the only way, I don't really have much choice. What about you? Like you say, if there's no other option, then I suppose we'll have to do it. Going to Ta. Um, thanks for agreeing to see me. It's just about hope and Sam. Right. So, is this a social visit? Should I get my gum shield and be ready for round two? Look, I've, I've not come to have a go. I am so sorry about what happened. Funny enough, I wasn't over the moon about it either. Look, look Nick, I swear to you, I'm not a violent man. I've been on the other end of that far too often. I just lashed out because. Well, because I just feel helpless. You know, this, this box stuff, it's got Fizz really upset and hope, and, you know, I'm supposed to be the one that protects him, you know, looks after him, and I just keep making everything worse. But that's no excuse for what I did, because you didn't deserve yeah, that, yeah. and I, I want you to know. It's all right, Ty, OK? So where's Hope now? Well, she'll just be home with Fizz, why? Sam's going to be back in a minute. I was going to take him for tea in the bistro. I don't know, maybe Hope would like to join us? Yeah, yeah, she'd love that. I'll... Oh, glad you're here. Wanted to speak to you. Uh, yeah, I actually can't right now. I'm off to a mate's. They can wait. Alia came to see me today. She was talking about these accusations you and Lauren have made about Darian. You mean she told you their side? Well, yeah. But what are you saying? They made it up. Why would they do that? Well, because of who they are and, and what they are. And what are they, exactly? Come on, David, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean, and I think you're out of order. Okay, I've not got time. Yes, you do. No, I need to go. No, we're sorting this out first. Carlita Barlita. <laughs> Thanks for the drinks, Mrs. Barlow. Very generous of you. Yeah, are you feeling all right? You can always wear that if you like, Beth. No, you're okay, Tar. 
actually thought there was something I wanted to have a word with you about. Oh, oh, here come the P45. No, it's just I know we've had words about this John State book, you know, and how it's messing with Fizzy's head, but she's already been through this before, and I'm pretty sure she don't want to go through it again. So please, 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 let's not mention it in front of her. Understood? You see, the thing is, we, we um... We never really wanted to upset her or anything. It was just... It's dead juicy gossip. Just find some other juicy gossip to mention then, Beth. But it's gonna be pretty hard to top that. I mean, the bloke was right, Ed Case. Offing people left, right and centre. Beth! Fine. We'll talk about it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Like, what sort of music do you like? <laughs> Let me guess. I bet you're a massive Michael Bolton fan, aren't you? No chance. I'd rather have Root Canal than listen to that, Wasak. And why are you asking me what sort of music I'm into? We're meant to be trying to find your ex-wife. Yeah, I know we are. That doesn't have to stop us from having a good time, does it? I knew it. You're not interested in helping me. You're just wasting me time and trying to get into me knickers. Excuse me, I'm not doing anything of the kind. Although, just out of interest, what sort of colour do you normally go for? Right, you need to back off right now, mate. As I'm going to call my boyfriend, get him to come over here and smash your face yeah, in. If that's how you feel about it, then fine. Good! You're a loser! I won't bother you anymore. I just don't see how you would know he was trying it on with your girlfriend. Well, you went there. You didn't see it. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just going off what Lauren told you, so the way I see it is her word against his and Dahlia's. <laughs> what a surprise. You choosing someone else's side over mine again. No, it doesn't strike me as the type of bloke who's, who, who's going to try that sort of thing. That's all. Well, Lauren was really freaked out. Or pretending to be. You know, I thought you'd get it after what happened to you with, with that Josh creep, but no, I was wrong. We are you serious or stupid? I mean, it's completely different. I mean, what happened with Josh? He drugged and raped me. It's hell of a lot different to what you're talking about. Cheers for your support. Really means a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sure, there's nothing I can do to help. No, no, uh, all under control. Thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Well, I, I understand this must be very hard for you. It's just all the waiting. I can't imagine how Stu must be feeling. Well, hopefully, if, if things go as they should do, it, at least he will get some sense of uh, closure. Mm. Perhaps. It's a pity it's taken this long and that so many lives have been ruined. I just pray that with time, Stu can rebuild his. You care about him very much, don't you? Yes, I do. Hey, uh, is everything to your liking? It was really nice, thank you. Although the chips weren't as good as the ones my mum makes. Or the kebab shop. Right. Uh, what exactly was the problem? They were a bit overdone. I'm a fine. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Right, well, uh... I'll make sure I tell the chef. Oh, uh, I better get it. I saw you talking to a load of girls in a year above at school today. Spying on me now, are you? No. I was just wondering what you were talking about. Different stuff, but mostly about that book about my dad. Were they giving you a hard time? No, it wasn't like that. They just wanted to know more about the things he did, people he murdered, all that sort of stuff. So, I thought I'd bring this into school tomorrow. Where'd you get this? Nicked it. My mum and dad had a load of copies hidden in the shed. What are you doing carrying this around? I'm gonna bring it in school tomorrow. So they can read all about the murders. I don't think you should do that. Why not? Because it's weird and, I don't know, creepy. If I show them it, they'll like me more. Won't they? And that doesn't mean that they're your friends, though, does it? Honestly, I think it's a bad idea. You're just jealous. Why would I be jealous? Because you've never been in a book. I wouldn't want to be in a book like that. So jealous. Hey. Hi. Are you okay after, you know, what 
happened before. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having my back, by the way. Oh, well, you know what they say. Our lot need to stick together. Yeah. It's funny. Me and Zidane used to fight like cats and dogs. He drive me mad. But if anyone ever had a go at me, he'd always be there to defend me. My brother was the same with me. When was the last time you saw him? Maybe like... Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to tell both of you a uh, chance to speak to Max. Uh, I told him I thought he was way out of line about you know, what happened. And what did he say? He pretty much accused me of taking yours and Darren's side over him and his girlfriends. But you know she's lying, then. Yeah, or she made a mistake or got it wrong. I don't, I don't know. Well, I know. It wasn't a mistake. Right. I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, it, it's his girlfriend. He's mad about her. Yeah, I know. And it's a shame. What do you mean? Don't get me wrong. I don't think Max is a bad person, but she's trouble. And I just hope for everyone's sake that Max realises it. He never listens to me. And he never takes my side about anything, ever. Well, I'm afraid some people are like that. Blinds was right in front of them. Even other people are letching after your girlfriend, are trashing your chances at an education. The thing you've got to ask yourself is, who do you want to believe? That sleaze in the restaurant? Lauren. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm, yeah, it's just annoying, isn't it? Because I actually quite liked working there. And, and then this happened. And... Well, don't worry. I might have a job for you. How would you like to earn an extra couple of hundred quid? Doing what? Well, you know that talk I'm giving at the community centre, right? Well, I need someone who's into social media and all that. Help get the message out, really promote it. Do you reckon you'll be able to handle it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right, well, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> yeah, speaking of messages, I think we need to send one to that lot over at the curry place. What kind of message? Not sure yet. But I'll think of someone. Right, that's enough excitement for one night. I'm off. You've changed. Do you know that? I remember when you could drink your own body weight in red wine and still be propping up the bar come closing time. Yes, well, one kidney transplant later and living with a recovering alcoholic will do that for you. Anyway, don't get too bladded, Beth. On the wages she pays us, fat chance. <laughs> Why do you wind her up like that? You know she's your boss. She could fight. Oh, she wouldn't dare. Because she knows that if she did, you lot would be out that door in protest, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I'm just going to nip to the bog. I thought you'd come. I come in peace. Can I join you? All right. But any more weird talk and you're going to get a headbutt? Capiche? Yes. I just want to let you know that after I left here, I went to the police station to say that you're telling the truth about the robbery and to see if they'd be willing to try and track Fern down. And? No luck, I'm afraid. Brilliant. Well, that's me stuffed, then. Not necessarily. I did have an idea about how, even if we can't find her, we might still be able to draw her out. I'm not following you. All she's interested in is money, right? And she is still technically my wife, so I reckon if she got wind that I'd won a small fortune in a lottery, she'd want her slice of it. Yeah, but how would she know? She doesn't use social media. I've tried searching for her. Yeah, she keeps her profile private. But she's a nosy cow. And I know for a fact she checks mine from time to time. So what do you think? Do you know what? For a sad, slightly creepy bloke who turns my stomach, that is not a bad idea. That means a lot. Thanks. You all right? Not said a word since I left. Make the most of it if I were you. I don't know. I'm just thinking about what you were saying earlier, about how weird everything's suddenly become. Mm. I can always change your mind. Like I keep saying, it's got to be your decision as well. And what about your dad? Just have to find another way to pay for his rehab. <laughs> oh, yeah, how? Exactly. Look, I'm not stupid. I know this isn't going to be easy for either of us. 
But if we're sure that we want the same thing and we stick together, we'll get through it, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Young people of that age are very impressionable and easily led with any luck. Max will realise his mistake and come to his senses. Oh, I hope so. Because right now, I don't think any of us need any more stress in our lives. So, do you think I've made enough food? Grant, you've made enough for the whole street. <laughs> <laughs> come in, come in. You must be exhausted. Well, it's been a pretty emotional day, that's for sure. So, um, how did it go? My conviction was overturned. So you've been cleared? Yeah. I'm so pleased for you. And thank you so much for everything. Hey, it's what I do. Oh, no, she's right. Thank you. Uh, both of yous for not giving up on me and believing in me. No, oh, I'm just glad it's all over for you. All that's left to do is sort out the terms for any compensation that you might be due. Oh, yeah, look, um, do, do you mind if we talk about that later? Of course. I've made some food, if you're hungry. Didi, please join us. Trust me, I would love to. But my mum's expecting me back for tea, so I better get going. Actually, I better get back to work as well, but I'll be back later. Bye. Well, uh, and, and thanks again, both of you. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya. Bye. <sighs> what next? Well, uh, that's sort of what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, obviously, with everything that's happened, Eliza's going to need me to look after her. And, and the social services have made it pretty clear she needs her own room. So, unless I end up dossing down in a tent in your garden, and I'm sure the neighbours won't be happy with that, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to live. You're moving out? It's the only way I can be with her. So she had a good time then? It seemed like it. I think she might have finally forgiven me. I'm just so glad Sam and her are talking again. And you and Nick. Yeah, me too. I mean, he's not a bad bloke. But it was really nice that he took them both out. Mm. Now all we've got is this flaming book to deal with. Yeah, well, seeing as though I've spent a small fortune <sighs> buying every book in the shop, oh. hopefully not many people around here will get their hands on it. Well, as long as hope doesn't, that's the main thing. Tomorrow morning, we've all the action from the Rugby World Cup final as England take on New Zealand. That's live from 6am. But don't go anywhere tonight as the Cucaracha Cafe is open and serving up some real treats. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, is next.